guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here I appreciate all of you I apologize for the the delay in uploading the week just turned a lot busier than I expected last week my son went to remote learning and things just got a little bit crazy so I am here today with a grocery haul with this I went to Target I picked up a few things that I've just needed I typically shop at King Supers which is Kroger but um, I went to Target to look for some other things and there's some things at Target that I can't find at my King Supers and so I decided to pick that up while I was there and since I was already picking up some stuff I just grabbed um, other things while I was there because you know one stop shop. Also our King Supers is on strike right now like the whole union wages thing and so um, I don't know there's some things that I can only get at King Supers so I might have to go there but um, as of right now I grabbed a few things from Target I did do the shopping on I think Friday maybe Thursday or Friday Thursday and so I've opened a few of the things because we're now on Monday and I wanted some of them for like snacks and stuff throughout the weekend and the weekend was just way too busy to, to record anything so here we are so some of it's opened but it's okay I'll still show you what I picked up um I am doing Weight Watchers and I get 20 points a day and so if you are unfamiliar with Weight Watchers what it is is they moved to a personal point system and when you sign up you answer a variety of questions about the types of food that you eat every day and the things that you want to have kind of a zero point foods so they don't list it that way but if you ever needed help with how to answer the questions to get your zero point foods you know you can always reach out but so they ask you certain questions and certain things will turn into zero point foods for you and then other things just have points and so i will tell you whether or not something is a zero point food for me but could be points for you at least as best as i can understand their new system because i am still learning it a little bit and if you're not doing weight watchers maybe some of these can just be you know low calorie things or just ideas that you can look into to see if they work well on whatever type of nutrition plan you're on but I will be talking about the points for Weight Watchers because that's what I'm currently doing. Um, I've done Weight Watchers many times in the past. They have changed their systems throughout the years and so I've been on several of the different ones. I really did like the last one before personal points. I was on the blue plan and it really, really worked out. And what I tried to do was make my personal point plan be as, almost as similar as that plan as I could. There are a few differences, but I think that that's okay because they've also decreased the amount of points on things like avocados and almonds, which is amazing because those are you know kind of a high fat food, but a healthy fat. And it made it hard to enjoy them because they were really high in points. And they've decreased the points of those, so it makes it a lot easier to have those as healthy snacks. And so I, I'm liking the new personal point system right now. I had to go in a few times and change my answers and kind of managle it so that it would work well for me in my day-to-day -day life. But I'm kind of happy where I'm sitting right now. So we are going to try that out for a while. So with all that, let me get started on showing you the things that I picked up at Target. Like I said, I went through and I wrote the points on everything so that I can tell you the number of points that it is on Weight Watchers. If you're not currently a part of Weight Watchers and it's something that you're interested in trying out or starting, I do have a link down below in my description box. And then I think we both get some sort of like deal, discount, if you were to sign up under my link. No, no like pressure or anything. If you want to just go sign up on your own without using my link, feel free to do so on that too. But if you think Weight Watchers is something that will work well for you, I highly encourage it because I've always really liked it. My problem is on me and my falling off not on Weight Watchers in the system. So uh, my motivation is what fails me, not Weight Watchers. So let me get started in showing you the things that I picked up because some of them came out of the refrigerator and eventually I gotta get them put back in there. And I also do too have a few things from Dollar Tree. If you're not coming over from my other channel, I have another channel called Amber's To-Do List. It's also linked down in the description box. And on that channel, I primarily do Dollar Tree hauls. There's a mix in of a few other things like my seasonal decor, party planning, other stores. So I call those collective halls of like Target and Hobby Lobby, Michaels, kind of wherever I go that's different than Dollar Tree, but it is primarily Dollar Tree hauls on my other channel. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to follow me over there. But with that, I um, have been looking at the food at the Dollar Tree and seeing if any of that is worth the point value as well as the monetary value because if, if I'm going to get it less expensive at Dollar Tree I'm gonna pick it up there so without further ado I will start showing you the groceries I picked up 
So I picked up this. This has been opened because I use these as snacks. Oh, there's the spot where I'm supposed to open it. Um, throughout the weekend, we went to the stock show, so I was out of the house a lot this weekend, and so I like to grab applesauces to have just kind of as an easy snack to grab if I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry, or if I want to supplement something that I know is going to be a high point dinner or something, I have some applesauces on hand. And so these are not my favorite applesauce. I am going to say I don't like the texture of these ones. I usually get the pack at Costco, and just their applesauce and it's my favorite kind of applesauce but I wasn't going to Costco I went to Target so I picked these up um, these are zero points as long as your applesauce has no sugar added it is a zero point item on Weight Watchers fruit in general is a zero point item unless you have diabetes they added that to have points if you have diabetes and I'm sure that has to do with your blood sugar and all that kind of stuff but so since fruit is a zero point item, these are no sugar added. It's just straight fruit. They're zero points. So I picked those up. I don't love them. My daughter luckily loves applesauce too, so she'll help me get through those. And then I can go buy the applesauce that I like. We'll pick it up anyway next time we go to Costco. I picked up some of this Tostitos cheese dip. These are two points for two tablespoons. Sometimes my suggestion is, and I didn't check this, always up your quantity because sometimes you can get more of an item for the same amount of points. I had the on the border cheese dip recently and I could get up to three tablespoons for two points with that brand. I don't know if it's the same with the Tostitos or not, but always check your quantities and a lot of times if you weigh your food versus measure your food you can get more food as well that way but this is in general for the nutrition facts two points for two tablespoons i like to add this so i like to make huevos rancheros for breakfast it's one of my favorite things i toast up some corn tortillas i do some refried beans i add my eggs on top and then this for the cheese a little bit of this creamy oh it's so good it's one of my favorite breakfasts so I wanted this on hand because I have been loving that for breakfast um, recently but I just ran out of eggs so I'll have to go buy more now for a sweet treat I like these think kids bars so these are obviously kind of more in the kids section and they're little protein bars designed for kids so they're smaller they're not very big but they are also only three points each, which a lot of the um, protein bars that I see are closer to the five to, well, four to six point mark. And I feel like a lot of times there's like too much food. So I like to use these for dessert because I feel like that they are the right amount of sweet. They don't have a lot of the protein taste in them and they're low on points. And I feel like they're satisfying as a sweet treat. So let me show you kind of how big they are. So. I know it's hard to tell so like that big and they're thin so they remind me of like a small candy bar and these are the two flavors that I've ever been able to find and I can usually only find these at Target and so we got the chocolate chip and we have the vanilla cupcake and I love both of these a lot and they come with five bars in them and when I bought them on Friday they were on sale it was like buy one get 25% off the second or something like that so I save like a dollar something but I love those as a little sweet treat, so I always highly recommend those. I also recommend like scanning a lot of the protein bars to see what is gonna work in your kind of point value for the day. I get 20 points a day, so three for a dessert, as long as I eat a lot of zero point foods, um, is definitely reasonable. So zero point foods for me include like low fat chicken, um, eggs are a zero point food, thank goodness, because eggs are one of my favorite things. Um, seafood and fish like and stuff used to be a zero point food but with this new plan it has points now I had salmon for dinner the other night and it was like four points so it wasn't anything crazy um, I get corn and popcorn as like kind of my starchy thing as a zero point food all vegetables all non starchy vegetables are zero points and they change it to now if you for every cup of vegetables you eat you get to add another point to your daily amount and so that's really nice so when you have a salad you kind of give yourself the points back for your salad dressing is kind of the way I look at it when I order salads and stuff or get salads. And Bolt House dressing is one of my favorites, but they don't have that at Target. I couldn't find any to go to King Supers for my Bolt House dressing, um, which I'll show you another time when I do a haul of food. But so, yeah, that's some of my zero point foods. Um, I picked up this coffee. I'm running low. I'm an avid coffee drinker. These are obviously zero points because there's no sugar added into them. They are just the French vanilla flavored coffee but not like the latte kind there's no even nutrition facts on these but coffee in itself is just zero points it's the creamer that'll get you and i picked up this creamer it's my absolute favorite kind and i can only find this at target it's the silk almond creamer creme brulee 
and this is one point for one tablespoon or three points for two tablespoons. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't track my coffee. I don't count the points for my coffee creamer. Um, I know a lot of people in the Weight Watchers community do the same thing where they don't track that. It's like a daily part of my life and it's going to be for the rest of my life. And I can't have the stress of always needing to track my creamer. And that's just who I am. Now, if I do things and like go to Starbucks for a coffee or as I showed on my last video, make my profi. So it's the protein, premier protein. And I add that to coffee. I do the points for the premier protein, but I don't for my creamer. And I typically have about two cups of coffee a day, give or take. And I try to keep it to about a tablespoon of creamer, give or take. But so far, I'm still losing weight and not counting my my creamer. Now, if I were to be stuck and I can't lose any more weight, I'm going to count my creamer. So it's kind of how you choose to do it, but that's just how I choose to do it. And I don't know on this new plan, but I assume blended fruit is still counted as points. So if you eat a banana as a banana, it's zero points. But if you blend a banana and put it in a smoothie, it's supposed to be like four or five points or something crazy like that. And I've never counted my blended fruit. One, I don't drink a ton of smoothies. However, one sounds good. I've been craving one. But... um. I just think that that's silly. Like, I just think it's beyond silly that if you blend it, it costs more points. So I don't ever count those. All right, other cold items I picked up is these Velveeta cheese. These are one point for one slice or three points for two slices. And I like to have this for like breakfast sandwiches where I do like an egg, cheese, and Canadian bacon sandwich, either on low point bread or low point English muffin, which I have both of those to show as well. And so I think for the one point, and I like... American cheese, even though I know it's highly processed, I think it's delicious. For a sweet treat, I picked up these sugar-free Jello puddings. They're two points each, and so sometimes I like to do these and try to like mix in a few, like a banana, and do this and turn it into like a really just kind of yummy dessert. Or sometimes if I just need a chocolate fix, I feel like these work really well. If you're someone who counts carbs, there's 10 carbs still in this, so it's still kind of a lot, I think. One gram of protein, zero added sugars. So, and 1.5 grams of fat, 60 calories. So if you're a, a carb counter, I don't know how that fits in, or if it doesn't. Now I love the Laughing Cow cheeses, and I typically get the light blue low fat one that's the like original but low fat, but um, I decided to try this blends one. I've never tried these before. They're one point per wedge, and it is red bean with paprika red bean and cheese with pep paprika in them. And it just sounded different and unique and I wanted to give it a shot. For sometimes for lunches, I like to do adult Lunchables. And so what I do is I get the low-fat Ritz crackers, which they didn't have any at Target. So I have to probably look at King Supers. Um, and I will do either some pepperonis or some sliced turkey, which either are zero points or low in points, depending on what kind of lunch meat you use. I use one of these types of cheeses so the cheese, the cracker, the meat, and yeah, count that as a, uh, you know, an adult Lunchable and it's low points typically. And then I'll like supplement, I'll do like pickles with it or some fruit or some vegetables, kind of depending on what I have on hand. I also picked up this one. It is the aged cheddar. This is also one point per wedge. Sometimes though, you've got to check the points of these on the different flavors because sometimes it's one point per wedge. Sometimes it's two points per wedge. And then if like you do two, then it's going to be like up to three. So Weight Watchers math is a little wonky sometimes. It's based off of the amount of calories and the nutrition. So you always got to check if you think that you're going to want more than one. And then I love these yogurts. My son and I both love these yogurts. So I picked up this pack that has six of them in it. They're two points per yogurt, both of the flavors. I really like the strawberry cheesecake. I also really like the toasted coconut vanilla. I love coconut. And so I like these as a sweet treat, sometimes as an easy breakfast um, with some fruit. When I was working, these were my breakfast every single day. Sometimes I'd add a couple points to add in like granola or something to give it a little crunch. Um, now that I'm at home and I don't work, I can make myself breakfast, but these are nice for a quick, easy, like on the go type of breakfast, and I absolutely love them. Or you can use them as dessert at the end of your day too, because they just kind of have that sweetness that's really good. So love those. All right, some bread type items. I picked up some English muffins, Thomas English muffins. These are the 100 calories light multi-grain ones. They are two points each, which has changed on the new plan. When I was on the previous plan, they were three points each. But if you weighed them in grams, if you like pulled out less than a bite's worth, you could drop it to two points by weighing it because they were so close to the two point mark as opposed to the three point mark. 
Again, Weight Watchers math, it's a whole thing. If you have any questions on it, I can go deeper on a video about Weight Watchers math. I don't have a ghost, I just have a dog. Um, and so they must have changed it now. So these are now two points, not the three points to where you have to pull out a little bit of the crumbs to make it two points. So Weight Watchers must have caught on on that. I also picked up some of this delightful bread. I do love all of the delightful breads. I typically get the wheat or the whole grain one, but I was just filling the white. I was kind of like, you know, white bread sounds good. And they now have this where it's one point per slice. And so are the wheats and everything, but the, the white bread just sounded really good. Now, those of you watching carbs, it's over here, 18 grams for two pieces, nine grams per slice of carbs on this one. So it says keto friendly, six net carbs. I don't know how to read carbs appropriately, apparently. So these are, I think you subtract the fiber, maybe is how that works. Nine, eight, seven, six, yeah, to get your net carbs. So six net carbs per slice on this bread because it says it's keto friendly. And I think it's delicious. I think it's really good. These ones would be 26 carbs per muffin but then um, you subtract eight, so whatever, 18 carbs, that's a lot, I think, I don't know. Um, I found this popcorn, I had it again, I literally the night I brought it home, I dug into it. So it is cinnamon sugar cupcake, smart food popcorn. I don't know personally, so I get popcorn for zero points. I like corn a lot, like corn on the cob, canned corn, so I wanted corn to be a zero point food for me. And it's an option that you can. You can also have potatoes as a zero point food, but I opted against that because I could get in trouble with potatoes and whole wheat pasta. I could get in trouble with pasta. So, and it decreases your daily amount of points when you do that. But I picked popcorn. And so I don't know, this is not in Weight Watcher system. So you plug in your nutritional value in there to try to figure out what the nutritional value is. And this is coming up as five points for two and a half cups or two points for one cup. However, I don't think that takes into account that the popcorn portion of it is zero points. So I think for my plan, it's a little bit high, but I don't know how to change that and figure that out. If you are knowledgeable in Weight Watchers and you leave a comment down below maybe to help me out with that, but either way, it was tasty, not tasty enough for me to rush out and go buy more. I'll eat this bag and be happy with it, but I think that there's better popcorn out there personally. So, but I was really excited about it. That's why it was already opened. But it was, it was good. It's just I think that there's better. And I don't know how to count the points. So what I need to do is get some of the point or the popcorn that's in the system and see if maybe that can help me figure it out. Um, I picked up some bananas and then I noticed when I got home one of them has a yucky spot, but I'll just cut that off. I like to just add bananas to my like breakfasts in, as a snack and that kind of thing. Like when I'm on my way out the door, like I can grab an applesauce or a banana. Um, and lastly from Target. In the frozen food, I picked up these. I feel like they're so expensive, but they're so good. I picked these up. Um, they're the blackened chicken breast strips. And they are, if you like Popeyes or if you eat at Popeyes and you get their blackened chicken, this is very similar to that. Um, but they're from home and they're easy. And I toss them in my air fryer and cook them up that way. They do have a kick. So if you like spicy, they're perfect. If you have a hard time with spicy, they definitely have a kick to them. If you get some tortillas, you can make yourself a chicken wrap. Um, and like low point tortillas, I usually get the carb ones, the mission like low carb something or other tortillas. Uh, but these are so good. And they're zero points each because anything that's added on them don't count points onto them. If you're watching your carbs, it's got one per three ounces of the chicken, which I don't know, about three pieces, give or take. Absolutely love these. They are $7.99 at my stores, and that seems pretty general in all my stores, which I feel like is crazy expensive, but for convenience and something you like, I think that it's a decent deal. I'll probably be having these for lunch today because we're going to the stock show again tonight, and nothing there is low points. So I try to eat very low points at home, and then that way I can spend all my points there. Um, now, some of the things I picked up the Dollar Tree is I found this, I ate one because I was actually out shopping and I didn't eat lunch. And I took a protein, Premier Protein drank that and I wasn't satisfied. And so I picked up one of these and tried it. It's one point per package. So it says that it is tuna salad and you can create a sandwich in seconds. So you just add this onto there because it does have light tuna, water, celery, carrot, sugar, water chestnut, 
food starch. So there's little chunks of um, celery, carrots, and maybe the water chestnuts in there. And I guess a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's like mayo or not, but there's a little bit of something in there. Now, I didn't think it was the best. I picked up two, one that I ate and then one to have. And I'll eat this, but I probably wouldn't rush back. I think I'd rather just have plain tuna, to be honest. Um, and again, since fish is not zero points for me, I feel like any of them are going to probably be a point because I have fish as points now. That used to be zero, but now they have like one point. It's really low on points. But it's it was okay. That, that was my, my thought. It was just okay. But it's easy on the go. It was perfect for a snack while I was out and about. I also found these at Dollar Tree, so they're like little fruit um, packages. It has no sugar added, it's just parade fruit, so they would be counted as zero points. When I scanned them, they had where other members have put them in for points, and they were either one to three points according to them. But because there's no added sugar, it's literally just the fruit pureed, I count them as zero like I would applesauce. So this one is literally just apples, so it's like applesauce. Um, and it's Wana Banana, and you got three for a dollar in these. This one is Pineapple and Banana. Mixed up in there, I'm excited to try that one. And then I did try one, and it was the Apple and Banana, and I didn't like this one very much. Again, it's a texture. It reminds me of the applesauce I got from Target. It's a finer, more pureed texture versus you feel kind of the grittiness of the apples. It's a texture thing. I don't love the texture of these. The flavor was okay, though. But I have those. They're easy for on-the-go snacks. And now that I've shown them, I'll open them and eat more of them. But they were... This... It was okay. I don't know. Maybe it was the banana taste I didn't like mixed in there. But um, I want to try the pineapple one because I love pineapple. And then lastly, from Dollar Tree... Even when I'm not on Weight Watchers, just all the time, I love these Hint Waters. And I've heard mixed reviews. Some people don't like them. Some people love them. I don't know if a dollar each is the best price. Um, I feel like you could probably get a pack of them for less. I'd have to price that out. But I got the watermelon, I got the pineapple, and I also had the cherry, which I already drank. And these, I'm trying to work really hard on my daily intake of water, which since I've started on, I think it was the third... Um, I've done my daily amount of water every single day. And that's another thing Weight Watchers added. If you get your eight, eight ounce cups of water, so 64 ounces of water in a day, they give you a point back that you can spend on your food, which is really nice. And so I, I've been working, I just knew I needed to be better hydrated. So I've been working on it because of that. So I've been getting my 64 ounces every single day. This is a nice tasty way to add that. It gives you a little bit of sweetness. There is 16 ounces, so it counts for two of your servings of water, which is really nice and I like them. I love the taste in them. So, and I like sparkling water too, like the ones with the bubbles, the cans of water, which I buy all the time, but I didn't buy this go round. All right, guys, so that is my grocery haul. Um, just trying to fill my refrigerator and pantry with some Weight Watchers type items. When I started, I didn't really go shopping, so I needed to pick up a few things. I've been making it all work. I have lost a few pounds, a couple pounds. I think I'm around three so far since starting so that's really exciting Weight Watchers does say that on average you should lose one to two pounds per week for healthy weight loss and I have been falling right in that so far I do my weigh-ins on Fridays so I do, I do plan to try to do check-ins on Fridays with you guys about what I think worked for my week what I can work on for my week to do better and set different goals for the upcoming week so that is what I have planned for this channel um, so hopefully this Friday I'll be able to get that I also have right now two other videos in the works um, that I'm working on getting going one of them is our why why are we on this health journey and to keep that you know going and then also I have a little project that I plan to do for meal planning um, so I do have a few other things in the works for this channel so thank you guys so much for being here please um, leave me a comment down below like this but like this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and join my new YouTube adventure here with my weight loss journey 
Um, leave me down below if you're on Weight Watchers, any of your favorite Weight Watchers food that and the point value, or just in general, what are some of your favorite snacks while you're working on your health goals? And then I can look at those and see if they fit into my point system or not. But what are some of your healthy snacks, like your favorite healthy snacks? Because I have a hard time with snacks. I, I just, I don't know, I have a hard time with snacks. So um, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.